Prologue. To eat or not to eat? This was the question that Xiao Chen pondered on as he studied the dark green immortal pill in his hand, his mind seemed to be in disarray. When he purchased the Compendium of Cultivation on Dobeo, the seller had included this for free. That Dobeo shop seemed to be a little dumb. After he bought the Compendium of Cultivation for 250 RMB, they had actually given him an immortal pill that was said to allow one to ascend to a higher plane. Xiao Chen was usually very interested in immortal cultivation and the legends attached to it, thus, without having to consider it too much, he made the purchase. For three years, Xiao Chen cultivated according to the methods outlined in the Compendium of Cultivation. He had cultivated for a whole three years, but there had not been a shred of improvement. Aside from remembering the methods of refining pills, making talismans, formations, and refining weapons, he was not able to make sense of the rest. However, Xiao Chen did not give up, he placed his hopes on that immortal pill, despite it seeming strange beyond compare. He once tried to use a steel hammer to smash it. When the steel hammer approached the immortal pill, it seemed to have a force field around it. No matter how much strength he used, the steel hammer was not able to get near it. The mystical immortal destiny of legend could be hidden within this immortal pill. Xiao Chen hesitated, as this immortal pill seemed very strange. It would be fine if he ate it and nothing happened, but what if something happened and he turned into a monster, what would he do then? This was why he did not dare to eat the immortal pill until now. Eat? Or not to eat? Eat? Xiao Chen steeled his heart and made his decision, he decided to eat this immortal pill, for it was either make or break. There was no such thing as a free lunch in this world. It was not possible to have any rewards without risk. Xiao Chen pinched his nose, shut his eyes, placed the immortal pill in his mouth, and swallowed it. Xiao Chen could obviously feel that the immortal pill sank down till it arrived in the area where the Danchen was located. The Danchen suffused its surroundings with warmth, and the qi and blood in his body seemed to converge into his soul. Xiao Chen could only feel that his mouth was dry and his head was dizzy, as though his soul was forcibly siphoned out. His consciousness clouded up, and slowly, he became unaware. Note, Dobeo is like eBay but Chinese version. Chapter 1, Tianyu Continent, Good for Nothing Xiao Chen Tianyu Continent, the Great Qin Nation, Kazai County, Mohi City, Xiao Clan Xiao Chen sat on the roof of a house in the backyard of the Xiao Clan. It was a fine sunny day with a clear sky, but Xiao Chen's mood was extremely bad, and he was feeling very depressed. He swore that if he ever returned to Earth, he would never buy anything from Dobeo anymore. When he had purchased the Compendium of Cultivation for 250 RMB, the seller had also included an immortal pill that was said to be able to allow someone to ascend to the world of immortals. Xiao Chen was normally very interested in the legends and cultivation methods of immortals and had purchased it at the drop of a hat. For three years, Xiao Chen had followed the cultivation methods written in the Compendium of Cultivation, but there had been no progress at all. Aside from remembering the methods of refining pills, making talismans, formations, and weapons refining, he was not able to make sense of the rest. However, Xiao Chen did not give up, placing his hopes on the immortal pill, a dark green pill that seemed strange beyond compare. He once tried to use a steel hammer to smash it, which revealed a force field around it as the hammer got close. Regardless of how much weight he put into his swings, the force field wouldn't budge. This mysterious occurrence caused Xiao Chen to make a decision and finally eat this immortal pill. Who could have expected that after he ate the immortal pill, albeit indeed ascending to a different world, it was not the immortal world of legend but rather a place known as the Tianyu continent. He was muddle-headed for a long time before he realized that he had crossed over and possessed a person with the same name, Xiao Chen, as himself. He would have been able to endure it if it were a regular ascension but whom among the ascended did not end up being competent and arrogant, capable of single-handedly defeating countless experts with their bare hands and sending crowds of beauties into screaming delirium with the wave of their hand? The Tianyu continent was a realm where the strong were respected. However, the person whose body he possessed was absolute trash in the way of cultivation. He was already 16 years old, 
yet he still had not condensed his martial spirit. The Xiao clan was the number one clan in Mohi City, and Xiao Chen was the son of the clan head. It may sound very prestigious, but because of his lack of talent in cultivation, even the servants in his clan looked down on him. Xiao Chen's reputation of being trash was known by everyone in all of Mohi City, causing him to be despised by everyone, even when he went outside. Young Master Xiao, the first elder has asked for you to go to the martial hall to test your abilities. If you have nothing to do, then you should quickly go. I have already passed on the message, so whether you go or not is your problem. When he heard that voice, it promptly broke Xiao Chen's train of thought. The person who spoke was a servant girl of the Xiao clan. However, she did not even bother to look at Xiao Chen, who was sitting on the roof of the house. When she finished saying her piece, she casually ignored Xiao Chen and left. The servants of the Xiao clan were people who could cultivate. The aptitudes of the servant girl who spoke earlier were not high, but she had successfully condensed her martial spirit when she was 12 years old. She was stronger than Xiao Chen, the trash who could not condense a martial spirit, even when he was already 16 years old. Furthermore, Xiao Chen would normally rely on his status and flirted with these servant girls, which had tarnished his reputation, so how could anyone possibly end up respecting him? Even a servant girl dares to despise him, what in the world did this Xiao Chen do? After the servant girl had relayed her message, his mood worsened. He patted his butt clear of dust and then directly jumped off the roof. What caused Xiao Chen's mood to turn sour was not the attitude of the servant girl, but rather it was the message that the servant girl passed on to him. The Xiao clan's test of abilities that happened every three months. Through the memories of this body, Xiao Chen knew that everyone in the Xiao clan, regardless of young or old, would be required to undergo a test of abilities every three months. It assessed their current cultivation status, those who improved would be rewarded, and those who were lazy and stagnated would be punished. The punishments could be either light or heavy, depending on the severity of the case. Most of the young disciples of the clan would be in a good mood on this day, those with outstanding talents in particular looked forward to this day so they could impress everyone and brag about their strength. However, this day was a torment to Xiao Chen. Ever since he stagnated in his cultivation since the age of eight, he had been stuck at the ninth grade of the realm of spirit refinement. He was not able to take the next step and condense a martial spirit, which would allow him to turn into a true cultivator. For eight years, this event had turned into his nightmare every single time. Each time he was tested, he was still at the ninth grade of the realm of spirit refinement without a shred of improvement. As for the other disciples at his age, they had already reached the peak of martial disciple, and some of the stronger ones had even advanced into the martial master realm. When Xiao Chen arrived at the martial hall, the huge martial training grounds of a few hundred square meters was filled with people. If they were counted, there would be no less than 800 people, who were all disciples of the young generation in the Xiao clan. They were no older than 20, yet the weakest one had a cultivation at martial disciple realm. Through this, the strength of Mohi City's number one clan, the Xiao clan, could be clearly seen. He simply just found a corner and stood there. He did not hold any extravagant hope that he could shine here, wanting nothing than to come and go, quietly and peacefully. At this moment, there was an old man standing beside the magic sealing stone that was used to measure one's strength. This person was the Xian clan's first elder, Xiao Qiang. He was a peak martial grand master, his strength in the Xiao clan second only to the clan head, Xiao Xiong. Within Mohi City, he was considered an expert. A youth seemingly 18 or 19 years old stood in front of the magic sealing stone. He was preparing to undergo the test, but when he turned his head, he inadvertently noticed Xiao Chen in the corner. The corner of the youth's mouth curled up slightly, revealing a trace of a sneer. He called out in a peculiar tone, so Brother Chen has arrived already, why are you standing so far away? Since you are here, how about I let Brother Chen take the test first? Xiao Chen smiled bitterly. There were some matters that were more likely to happen the more you avoided them. He already stood so far away, yet he was still seen by someone. The person who spoke was Xiao Jian, who was Xiao Chen's elder brother that shared the same father but had a different mother. During every test, he would always make things difficult for Xiao Chen. 
Xiao Chen started cultivating at the age of four. Within a year, he could feel the essence of heaven and earth, and within another year's time, he achieved the first grade of spirit refinement. In another three years, before he turned eight, he achieved the ninth grade of spirit refinement. He appeared to have been at the cusp of consolidating his martial spirit. Back then, he was a rare talent that appeared only once in a hundred years in the Xiao clan. At that time, Xiao Jian was still hovering around the fifth grade of spirit refinement. Everyone in the Xiao clan paid attention to Xiao Chen, and the elders of the clan would lavish all sorts of praises on Xiao Chen. Xiao Jian became just like a puppet, forgotten by everyone. Since then, he hated Xiao Chen. They were both Xiao Xiong's sons, so why was it that Xiao Chen was loved by everyone and yet he was forgotten? The surrounding Xiao clan disciples appeared to be expecting a good spectacle. During every test of abilities, Xiao Jian would use many different methods to humiliate Xiao Chen, they were all used to it already. Furthermore, whenever they saw how the genius of the past had fallen into the state of being the trash he was at present, they felt an indescribable delight in their hearts. Chapter 2, Anger, Life and Death Duel Xiao Chen did not move, he instead just stared coldly at the crowd, and no one knew what he was thinking in his heart. Xiao Jian turned towards the crowd and slowly walked over. The crowd opened up a passageway for him, with the expectation that this was going to be a good show written all over their faces as they looked at Xiao Chen. Brother Chen, why are you not moving? Are you not going to give your big brother some face? Xiao Jian said sinisterly as he grabbed Xiao Chen's wrist with his right hand, leading him to the front. However, when he pulled, he found that he was not able to move Xiao Chen's wrist. He could not help but be alarmed, how could this trash have such immense strength? Right as he was about to use his essence to make Xiao Chen submit. Xiao Chen flung his hand away ferociously, managing to fling away Xiao Jian's hand under the eyes of the crowd, and replied coldly. There is no need for Big Brother to exert himself. I can walk by myself. There was a burst of amazed mutterings. How was this trash able to fling away Xiao Jian's hand? Although Xiao Jian did not use the essence in his body, his cultivation had already reached the peak of the superior grade of martial disciple, which meant he was only a step away from becoming a martial master. His cultivation realm was definitely higher than Xiao Chen's by a few realms, so could that trash possibly have experienced a miracle and condensed his martial spirit? Xiao Jian, whose hand was flung away by Xiao Chen, stared blankly for a period of time, but his expression immediately turned unsightly shortly after. This Xiao Chen actually dared to make him lose face in front of everyone. He gloomily followed Xiao Chen and walked over. He did not stop to think that he had said something to try and humiliate Xiao Chen in the first place. Xiao Chen, who was standing in front of the magic ceiling stone, wore a bitter expression. He was very clear on what realm of cultivation he was in, but he no longer had any path of retreat. The worst case scenario was that he would be ridiculed again, but thinking of this actually calmed him down. Xiao Chen stretched out his right hand and placed it on the magic ceiling stone, circulating the weak spiritual energy in his body. Threads of spiritual energy flowed from his danshan into the acupoints on his arms, through his meridians, and rapidly gathered on his right palm. The magic ceiling stone under his palm started to change color, and the initial pure white slowly turned into a faint red color. In a short while, Xiao Chen's forehead was filled with droplets of sweat, and the magic ceiling stone seemed to have some kind of devouring power that made the spiritual energy in his body continuously flow out. However, the color of the magic ceiling stone still remained an unchanged faint red. Xiao Chen, Ninth Grade of Spirit Refinement There is no improvement. The first elder behind the magic ceiling stone, Xiao Qiang, said without emotion. Xiao Chen shook his head, withdrew his right hand, and wiped the sweat off his forehead. The surrounding Xiao clan disciples breathed out in relief. This trash was still the trash he was before. There were no miracles, and his strength was still at the ninth grade of spirit refinement. Xiao Jian laughed coldly. Actually, he had been startled by him earlier. Now, he remembered that he wanted to bully him, and thus he immediately recovered his earlier mindset of wanting to create trouble for him. Brother Chen, you are indeed an abnormal talent. 
Despite eight years of cultivation, you are actually still in the ninth grade of spirit refinement. Within the whole Xiao clan, no, the whole great Qin nation, only you have such a talent? Haha. <laughs> All the Xiao clan disciples within the big hall laughed together. The first elder behind the magic ceiling stone just frowned but did not say anything. He felt that it was a pity, as Xiao Jian had acceptable talent and was hardworking enough in his cultivation, but he had next to no compassion. He would definitely not climb far in the future. He was not sure if this kid could survive in the promise of ten years that would occur half a year later. Xiao Chen kept his quiet and maintained a cold expression. This was his elder brother, who, instead of consoling him, went so far as to take the lead in humiliating him. Having such an older sibling was as good as having none? Xiao Jian stretched out his hands and patted Xiao Chen's shoulders, smiling strangely. Brother Chen, do not be discouraged, take it slow. Maybe you can condense your martial spirit in a few more years. Hey, Brother Chen. Why are you kneeling? Don't be like this, I do not deserve such treatment. Xiao Jian used his essence when he patted Xiao Chen, using about half the strength of a peak martial disciple. Considering Xiao Chen had humiliated him earlier in front of everyone, he did not intend to let him off so easily. Xiao Chen knelt on the ground on one knee, his forehead filled with sweat. After Xiao Jian infused his hand with essence, it heavily pressed down on his shoulder. Regardless of the amount of strength he used, he was not able to resist Xiao Jian. There was a mocking voice coming from the crowd, Young Master Chen, even with such outstanding cultivation, you don't have to use such a method to display it. Young Master Chen is indeed Young Master Chen, even the way he kneels exhibits such elegance. Xiao Chen closed both of his eyes. He tightly clenched his fist, causing his fingernails to dig into his flesh. Fresh blood slowly dripped out, and his whole body could not stop trembling. Dissatisfaction? He was not resigned. A fierce resentment that stemmed from the depths of his soul began to pervade Xiao Chen's body. He was not resigned. Is that you? Xiao Chen murmured. This fierce resentment from the depths of the soul itself seemed to come from the original soul of this body. Even after he died, the resentment that had accumulated for eight years came bursting out he was not resigned. No one would willingly be a piece of trash. No one would be able to indefinitely endure the mockings and humiliations from others. No one would willingly look up to others for the rest of their life. You are Xiao Chen, I am Xiao Chen as well. I will live in place of you, washing away these eight years of humiliations. I will cause those who mocked you, insulted you, and teased you to understand what regret is. Xiao Chen fiercely opened his eyes. A radiant look replaced that cold and empty look he usually wore, the determination in his eyes staunch. I, Xiao Chen, will not be trash forever. He pushed his body downwards and quickly rolled backward, standing behind the magic ceiling stone. He looked at Xiao Jian with a cold gaze. Xiao Jian was pleased with himself when he saw the surrounding Xiao clan disciples laughing at Xiao Chen. He had relaxed his state of mind from when he was caught off guard and had inadvertently let Xiao Chen escape from his grasp. He could not help but feel frustrated again at the thought of it and was about to make a move. A piece of broken cloth flew out and hit him in the face, slapping him with a great force. The piece of cloth had been torn from Xiao Chen's sleeve. Naturally, that meant the one who did that was Xiao Chen. Very good, since you have already received it. I hereby challenge you to a life and death duel seven days later. From now on, you are no longer my big brother, and you never will be again. Xiao Chen looked coldly at Xiao Jian and spoke, his cold voice seeming to emerge from the nine layers of hell. Chapter 3, Purple Thunder Divine Incantation Xiao Jian was angered till his face turned purple when he heard those words. He held back the essence he gathered in his hands and dispelled the martial technique he was about to execute, the Inferno Chop. After staring blankly into empty space for a while, he quickly understood what Xiao Chen meant with his words, looking at him as though he had just seen a ghost. Not just him, everyone in the martial training grounds also understood what Xiao Chen meant when he said that he had accepted it. A commotion broke out among the crowd, who then also looked at Xiao Chen as though they had seen a ghost. Dual rights? 
What Xiao Chen had just performed was the dual rites of the Tianyu continent. There were many different kinds of dual rites in the Tianyu continent. For instance, if you threw your handkerchief at the opponent and he catches it, it meant that the opponent had accepted the challenge. The nature of this kind of duel was genial, and most challenges were of this type. According to the different cultures and practices of their land, there were different types of dual rites. However, regardless of the place, there was one kind of dual rite that was universal furthermore, a duel of that nature was the cruelest. It was the act of hitting someone's face using a piece of torn cloth from one's sleeves. If the cloth hits the target, then the request for the duel was automatically approved. And once the duel started, it was a fight to the death. However, Xiao Chen was at the ninth grade of spirit refinement. Without any martial techniques, wouldn't it be nothing short of seeking death if he challenged a peak martial disciple to this kind of duel? In the Tianmu continent, Martial cultivators reigned supreme, the realms of martial cultivation were divided into the initial spirit refinement, martial disciple, martial master, martial grand master, martial saint, martial king, martial monarch, martial sage, and martial emperor. The spirit refinement realm was split into nine grades, whereas the martial disciple realm and above were split into the inferior grade, medial grade, and superior grade. On the road of martial cultivation, the spirit refinement phase was considered to be the most challenging, and only after achieving the ninth grade of spirit refinement and condensing the martial spirit could one be considered to be a true cultivator. For people with good talent, they would be able to condense their martial spirit before the age of 10. If the martial spirit was condensed after the age of 10, then that person's accomplishments on the martial path would definitely be limited. The earlier a person condenses their martial spirit, the more they would accomplish in the future. Within the Xiao clan, in a desolate courtyard, Xiao Chen sat cross-legged on the bed in a bedroom and followed the cultivation method of his new body to absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. Threads of spiritual energy surged towards him from all directions, entering his body via the 720 major and minor acupoints through his pores. Afterwards, the spirit energy moved along the meridians like a tiny snake, slithering towards the danchen. The spirit energy from all directions moved via the meridians and converged in one spot. There was a formless mass in the location of the danchen, the spiritual energy circled above the danchen once, turning into countless strands of spiritual energy, and returned to the meridians. Xiao Chen was not resigned and tried to gather the spiritual energy again and used a new volley of energy strands to put pressure on the danchen, but the spiritual energy merely circled the danchen as before and returned to sit in the meridians. After a few tries, the spiritual energy in his surroundings began to thin out, yet the energy could still not enter the danchen. Finally, all of the spiritual energy flowed in reverse, through the meridians and acupoints, entering the skin and muscles to slowly nourish Xiao Chen's bones, skin, and muscles before completely disappearing. Xiao Chen stopped cultivating, subsequently pounding down on his bed in frustration he still could not overcome this hurdle. Ever since Xiao Chen entered the ninth grade of spirit refinement, the spiritual energy he absorbed would not gather in his danchen. Instead, every last bit of it permeated his bones, skin, and muscles, causing his body to be tempered until it was incomparably tough and durable, which also gave him a shocking level of strength. If the opponent did not use essence, even if they were a martial master realm martial cultivator, they would not be able to compete against him in strength. This was the reason why he was able to struggle free of Xiao Jian earlier. However, if he was not able to condense his martial spirit, then he had no way to distill the spiritual energy of heaven and earth into the more condensed essence. The martial techniques for martial disciples and onwards required essence to execute. Regardless of his physical strength, in front of a martial master using essence, only a path to death existed. Could it be that he had no way to escape death in seven days? Suddenly, a thought appeared in his head, that compendium of cultivation that he had purchased from Dobeo, he was not able to cultivate it on earth, but perhaps it was possible to cultivate it in this world? The existence of the martial spirit meant that he might not be able to form a jindan or a yuanying, but what about cultivating? The spiritual energy of heaven and earth did not exist in his previous world, but it existed everywhere in this world. The more he thought about it, the more possible it seemed. 
In the compendium of cultivation, there was only one immortal cultivation method, which was the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation. He had read the compendium of cultivation for three years and had been able to memorize it long ago. He sat down cross-legged again and started to cultivate according to the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation. The Purple Thunder Divine Incantation had a total of 12 layers, so he could naturally only start cultivating from the first layer. He silently mouthed the incantation, immediately able to clearly feel the surrounding spiritual energy stir, and began to feel delight in his heart. Xiao Chen calmed his emotions and continued to circulate the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation. At this moment, he absolutely could not afford to be too eager and impatient. The surrounding spiritual energy continuously gushed forth, percolating him in the incomparably clear feeling of the spiritual energy seeping into his pores. The threads of spiritual energy that entered his body were like little fishes that swam around with utter glee, which resulted in an indescribably carefree feeling. The speed and density of the absorption of spiritual energy was faster and denser by several times. The spiritual energy swam happily through his meridians, Xiao Chen's thin meridians expanded and continuously turned wider under the influence of the thick and dense spiritual energy. The spiritual energy flowed rapidly and, in an instant, completed a small circuit in front of his chest. The alarming speed of it made Xiao Chen feel a little apprehensive, hurriedly calming down and slowing the pace of the spiritual energy's circulation down a notch. After it completed a cycle, the spiritual energy returned and tarried above the danchen. Xiao Chen started to get nervous. He hadn't given up yet, so he did his best to control the spiritual energy, carefully directing it inch by inch towards the formless mass that was his danchen and pressed on it. The boundless spiritual energy was like a flood dragon and slowly swam to the side of the danchen. The feeling he got was different from the previous times he attempted this. This time, his mind could clearly feel a flexible barrier in his dantin preventing the spiritual energy from infiltrating it. The feeling of spiritual energy moving forward was becoming more obvious until, finally, the spiritual energy could no longer proceed forward. Xiao Chen hardened his heart and caused the rest of the spiritual energy scattered in his meridians to gather above his danchen, immediately afterwards prompting it to ferociously charge downwards. There was a loud bang, and the spiritual energy bounced back, causing a huge wave. Xiao Chen could feel that his organs and viscera had shifted, and a thread of fresh blood leaked out from the corner of his mouth. He turned pale with fright. Quickly recollecting himself, he slowly channeled his spiritual energy into the organs that were damaged. Chapter 4, Adventure, Seven Horn Mountain For the past four hours, Xiao Chen carefully repaired the damaged internal organs. After this lesson, he no longer dared to use spiritual energy to forcefully break into the danchen. After his injuries had stabilized, he slowly restored the circulation of the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation, continuously absorbing countless threads of spiritual energy. After going through a cycle in his meridians, the spiritual energy permeated into Xiao Chen's bones, skin, and muscle. He had made his decision. Since he temporarily could not condense his martial spirit, then he would temper his body to become extremely tough. Xiao Chen lost track of time as he cultivated, having already finished 36 cycles without realizing it. Opening his eyes, two dots of purple light flashed across in his eyes. At the moment, the sky was bright, which rendered him speechless, as he had actually spent the entire night cultivating inside the house. Despite having not slept for a night, Xiao Chen's mind felt invigorated, without a single trace of fatigue to speak of. Shortly after, Xiao Chen noticed an odd scent. Glancing down, he realized a thick layer of sticky black fluid had settled on his body, the smell of it unbearably fishy. These were the impurities and waste material in Xiao Chen's body. In the past, when Xiao Chen cultivated, his body would at most have a layer of sweat covering it. However, the entirety of last night was spent in cultivation with thrice the absorption speed of previous sessions this caused the extreme scene we see now and those who were not aware of the situation would probably assume that Xiao Chen had fallen into a latrine. Xiao Chen smiled bitterly and quickly went to take a shower. If he went out like this, it would definitely cause many misunderstandings. After the shower, 
He changed into a new set of clothes and made his way to the courtyard. He got into position and began practicing the Xiao Clan's most ordinary fist techniques. The Xiao Clan's fist technique had a sequence of movements that united the motions of rising, falling, advancing, and retreating, which made it seem extremely plain. Xiao Chen struck out extremely smoothly, emitting a wave of wind from his fist. Without realizing it himself, the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation in his body automatically circulated together with the movements. The originally plain fist technique actually seemed to turn tyrannical and mighty. His hands struck out and pulled back alternatively, and the sound of thunder seemed to fill the air. This change caused Xiao Chen to be beside himself with joy as he did not expect the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation to have such an effect. The more he struck out, the more delighted he felt. His fist became faster and faster, and the roar of thunder continuously rang out. Without realizing it, as he shouted out softly, electricity could be seen arching non-stop on his fist. A hot sensation traveled to his right hand, and his entire right hand seemed to inhabit an inexhaustible strength. Xiao Chen shouted loudly, his whole body leaping forth, and when he landed, his fist struck down on the ground. Xiao Chen used the strength of his whole body in this fist. Boom! The rocks were crushed in great numbers. Amongst the countless cracks, there was a small hole about half a meter wide. Xiao Chen held his breath as he looked at the crushed rocks and shook his head. The might of this fist might have seemed ferocious, but he knew that this was nothing. When the strong martial cultivators used this martial technique, it could create a big hole that was at least a meter wide. Furthermore, there would not be any cracks. The crushed rocks would all be turned into powder. However, Xiao Chen was very satisfied. He had to take it step by step. He had only cultivated the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation for a night, yet his strength was already so shocking. After cultivating for a few more days, his body might be able to be comparable to those of the Martial Disciple realm. Furthermore, the electricity on his fists would give others a shocking surprise. After resting for a while, Xiao Chen decided to continue his cultivation. Only, he could not go back to the bedroom to cultivate anymore. He had to find a place with denser spiritual energy. The back mountains, Seven Horn Mountain, of the Xiao Clan was such a place. This Seven Horn Mountain could be said to be the source of the Xiao Clan's footing. There were many spirit beasts and rare herbs on the mountain. Furthermore, the density of the spiritual energy there was more than onefold than that of the area where he currently was. In the memories of this body, the Xiao Clan was considered to have been a humongous clan many years ago, and not just in the Great Qin Nation but also in the Tianyu continent. They only came to Mohi City after they had declined. The previous generation of the Xiao Clan had used their martial strength to occupy this mountain. Relying on the countless treasures from Seven Horn Mountain, the Xiao Clan slowly established a firm foothold in Mohi City, turning into the number one clan in the area. The only downside being that such a treasure trove would naturally cause the eyes of others to go red with jealousy. Because of this Seven Horn Mountain, there was an unending stream of conflicts and disputes. In that period, the local clans of Mohi City and Xiao Clan had many large-scale battles, causing tremendous loss to both sides. Finally, under the mediation of the city lord of Mohi City, all the clans within Mohi City came to an agreement. Every ten years, they would hold a competition, and all the youths from the clans under the age of 20 would participate in it. The victor would decide who acquired the rights to Seven Horn Mountain. Both sides took a step back, and the Xiao clan also did not dare to offend all the surrounding clans and agreed to it. Although the Xiao clan's power had declined, they had managed to clinch victory in the past three martial arts competitions. The next promise of ten years would occur in another half a year. The Xiao clan had for this competition placed all of its hope on Xiao Jian and the mysterious granddaughter of the first elder. While recollecting the history of Seven Horn Mountain, Xiao Chen had already arrived at its foot. There was a pass erected at the foot, which was where the elite troops of the Xiao clan had been stationed. If anyone not from the Xiao clan sought entrance, aside from having to apply to do so first, they had to pay an entrance fee. Xiao Chen, as the son of the clan head, naturally did not have to undergo such menial procedures to enter Seven Horn Mountain. However, 
When the guard from the Xiao clan found out that he wanted to enter, he made things difficult for him. Who had not heard of the second young master and his cultivation at the ninth grade of spirit refinement that he was the famous trash of Mohi City? If he entered Seven Horn Mountain, death would be the only thing in store for him. When the clan had started to look for people to blame, he would definitely be punished. Second young master, the spirit beasts within the mountain are very ferocious. It is not a fun place to be. It is better that second young master does not go in, one of the guards advised. In fact, the guard had wanted to say more but did not, refraining from adding how the misty rain pavilion inside the safe walls of the city would be more fitting for him rather than, frankly speaking, seeking an early death in this place. When Xiao Chen heard this, he smiled. He did not mind the tone of this guard. Who said that I am going up the mountain to play? I am going to cultivate. Could it be that, as the son of the clan head, I do not have the rights to enter this mountain for cultivation? That same guard seemed to want to say something more, but the person behind him held him back, smiled, and spoke. Since the second young master is going to cultivate, we will naturally not obstruct you. We just hope that young master does not wander too deep and keeps away from the inner mountain. That is natural. When Xiao Chen said that, he walked away without looking back. Why are we letting him in? This is akin to sending him to his death, the guard that spoke earlier said. Your information network is not effective haven't you heard of his duel with Xiao Jian? It's a duel of life and death. Let him enter. Even if he dies in the clutches of a spirit beast, it would still be better than dying at the hands of Xiao Jian. Chapter 5, Panic, Mysterious Girl Seven Horn Mountain Xiao Chen made his way up to the mountain peak. Having cultivated the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation, he could feel how his perception had grown sharper than it was before. He could clearly feel that the forest in the mountain was filled with the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. At the moment, he was looking for the area with the densest spiritual energy inside within the surroundings of the mountain range. Although he did not succeed in condensing his martial spirit yesterday, he had not given up on hope. In the Compendium of Cultivation, aside from the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation, which was a foundation for cultivating, there were also the methods of refining medicinal pills. Based on his experience so far, he discovered that the herbs of this world were identical to those recorded in the Compendium of Cultivation. As long as he cultivated the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation for a period of time and condensed the most basic flames, he could refine medicinal pills. With the aid of medicinal pills, there would be some hope in condensing his martial spirit. Suddenly, by virtue of Xiao Chen's perception, he noticed an area roughly 500 meters in front of him. There seemed to be an abundance of spiritual energy there. He raised his head to take a better look. The vegetation was lush, sturdy, and vigorous, whereas the trees in this spot seemed to be thicker than those in other areas. Xiao Chen smiled, having finally found it, and pushed aside the branches in his way and dashed over. When he was near the place with abundant spiritual energy, Xiao Chen stopped. This kind of place would usually have a strong spirit beast lurking around. The perception of spirit beasts exceeded a human's, so it was impossible for them to not sense it. Such a good cultivation ground would definitely have already been occupied. He had to find it first. The strongest spirit beasts in these parts were only ranked two, about equivalent to a human peak martial disciple. With Xiao Chen's current cultivation, in addition to the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation and if he took advantage of his surroundings, he could find an opportunity to kill it. There was a cool breeze, causing the leaves to dance lightly and gracefully. Xiao Chen used his nose to sniff the air, catching wind of a light scent of blood. However, this scent had been around for a long time and had turned faint. If Xiao Chen's nose was not sensitive, he might not have caught whiff of it. Could it be that the spirit beast he was tracking down had already been slain by someone? Xiao Chen thought deeply, with some suspicions in mind. He advanced by another few steps, only to finally see the dead spirit beast under a tree. After Xiao Chen took a closer look, he was shocked. This dead spirit beast was a two-tailed spirit fox. Looking at the wounds on the body, he only noticed a sword wound on its neck, having been killed with just one slash of the sword by someone. 
The two-tailed spirit fox was a peak existence of the rank two spirit beast. Well renowned for its monstrous speed, it could be said to be unrivaled within the outskirts of Seven Horn Mountain. Furthermore, this spirit beast was very intelligent and cunning. If it encountered a strong opponent, it would take the first opportunity it could to flee. However, given its condition, it was obvious that the moment it was discovered, it was killed with a slash and died immediately without even the chance to flee. When Xiao Chen thought of this, he could not help but shudder. The two-tailed spirit fox was extremely fast, so how quick did this strike have to be in order to kill it in one slash? This person was definitely at least in the martial master realm. Suddenly, there was a faint sound of movement from behind him, and a sense of danger overwhelmed him. Crap! Xiao Chen quickly reacted, circulating the purple thunder divine incantation quickly. He pushed strongly with his feet as a hot energy spread to his feet, causing his body to leap up into the sky. His hands clutched a tree branch about two meters high. Using it as suspension, he nimbly swung his body and somersaulted, landing lightly on it. He touched his back and discovered a wound from a sword. The wound was not deep, but it was bleeding quite profusely. Looking at the blood on his hands, Xiao Chen took a deep breath. If he had not avoided it in time, this slash could have split him in twain at the waist. Xiao Chen looked down, catching sight of the perpetrator, who was a girl that did not seem older than twenty. Her facial appearance was picturesque. Her skin was smooth and fair, she had fine black hair tied into a ponytail that was hanging on her shoulder, and her face was charming like a flower. With the green clothes she wore, she exhibited the semblance of an otherworldly fairy. However, her eyes were filled with killing intent. They were incredibly cold, and under her gaze, even the air seemed to freeze. The young girl held a slender sword in her hands, which flashed with a cold light. The body of the sword was emitting a faint moonlight, revealing it to be a spirit weapon. In the Tianyu continent, there was a peculiar ore, the moonstone. When blacksmiths forged weapons, as long as they mixed in some moonstone dust, the quality of the weapon would undergo a qualitative leap, turning it into a spirit weapon. Spirit weapons were very strong. Aside from the fact that they were very sharp, they could fuse with the strength of the martial spirit, which would raise the cultivator's strength to their peak. This person seemed to be familiar Xiao Chen sifted through his memories for a long time before remembering. Seeing that the girl in front of him wanted to make another move, he hurriedly spoke, Cousin Yulan, please don't move. I am Xiao Chen, have you forgotten me? This was the granddaughter of the first elder, Xiao Yulan. Going by the family tree, she was a distant cousin on his mother's side. Xiao Chen was not very familiar with her, recalling that this cousin of his was very reclusive since young. He barely saw her after the age of ten, and all he heard was that she had been in solitary cultivation and seemed to be very mysterious. Xiao Yulan frowned, as though she was thinking, and then withdrew her sword. She gently parted her lips and said in an apologetic tone, I'm sorry, cousin Xiao Chen. What are you doing here? After seeing her withdraw her sword, Xiao Chen released his breath. He jumped down from the tree branch, explaining, I saw that the spirit energy in this place was abundant and wanted to cultivate here. In the future, when cousin comes to this kind of place where spirit energy is abundant, you must be more cautious. These kinds of places will normally have strong spirit beasts protecting them. Xiao Yulan suddenly stopped, as though she remembered something, and took out a jade bottle and passed it to Xiao Chen. This is a superior grade golden salve. It is effective on the sword wound on your back. I have been cultivating here for these few days and have chased away many of the spirit beasts that wanted to snatch this area away. Cousin can relax and stay here to cultivate, so consider this bottle of golden salve my compensation to you. I shall take my leave then. Xiao Chen received the golden slave and thoughtfully watched the beautiful image of Xiao Yulan leaving. She killed the two-tailed spirit fox with a slash, this level of cultivation meant she was definitely much stronger than that arrogant Xiao Jian. Only, why was she not willing to reveal herself? Could it be that she had always been on this Seven Horn Mountain, cultivating and killing all sorts of spirit beasts? Xiao Chen pondered on it carefully for a period of time and came to the conclusion that it was very possible. 
The expression that Xiao Yulan had when she was looking at him initially was as though she was looking at a spirit beast, lacking any emotion. If he had not called out her name all of a sudden, he might have already become a corpse. It did not matter, as he did not have much time left. The spiritual energy in this place was incomparably abundant, so he needed to cultivate first before doing other things. He found a big, sturdy tree and leaped up onto the branches, after which he sat down in the lotus position and circulated the purple thunder divine incantation to absorb the surrounding spiritual energy. Chapter 6, Awakening of the Azure Dragon The spiritual energy on the mountain was definitely much denser than below. In an instant, Xiao Chen could feel the vigorous spiritual energy gushing forth. The meridians that were widened by the purple thunder divine incantation were quickly filled. The spiritual energy circulated quickly in the eight major meridians. Xiao Chen no longer dared trying to force the spiritual energy into the Danchen like the day before and instead obediently used the spiritual energy to nourish his bones, skin, and muscles. He alternated between breathing in and out, and his breathing started to stabilize. He entered into a state of nothingness, as though he had become one with the mountain range. This state was maintained for about four hours. The spiritual energy within a few hundred meters of Xiao Chen suddenly became agitated, and the boundless and majestic spiritual energy was frantically being drawn into Xiao Chen's body by an unknown force. Xiao Chen, who had entered into a state of nothingness, was suddenly shocked by the situation. This spiritual energy was like a big river, unceasingly pouring into his body. The spiritual energy in his meridians became increasingly thick, causing Xiao Chen, who was already saturated with spiritual energy, to feel pain. If this went on for another hour, he would without a doubt explode and die. He could not control the circulation of the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation, which frantically continued to circulate by itself at a speed faster than usual by at least two folds. What was going on? A deep fear crept up into Xiao Chen's mind. Am I going to die like this? The surging spiritual energy continuously gushed into his body. He did his best to redirect the spiritual energy in his meridians to his bones, skin, and muscles, but he could not keep up with the rate of the spiritual energy that was pouring into his body. His meridians were already starting to show some tiny cracks, and mixed in with the crack were some traces of fresh blood. A strong wave of pain was sent to his brain, and Xiao Chen grunted and nearly fainted from the pain. He sent his consciousness down, observing that his danchen was still a formless mass. He clenched his jaw and decided to take a gamble. If this spiritual energy could not find an outlet, then he would explode and die soon. Only by successfully condensing his martial spirit could he refine the spiritual energy into essence. After making that decision, his consciousness immediately controlled the spiritual energy to smash against the danchen. This spiritual energy was much stronger than the spiritual energy he had used before, and just like before, when it got close to the danchen, it stopped. However, this time, it did not bounce back. From the three major meridians of the chest, another wave of strong spiritual energy came and merged with the other, forming a stronger whole. And then with a bang, it slammed into the barrier surrounding the danchen. Xiao Chen vomited a mouthful of fresh blood but the spiritual energy still did not enter the danchen. He did not believe that he could not break the barrier, but he tried for a few more times and inadvertently failed. Xiao Chen started to get angry and continuously controlled the spiritual energy to smash against the barrier around the danchen. After the fifth attempt, Xiao Chen had already vomited five mouthfuls of blood. However, this time, he could obviously feel that the barrier softened. He felt joy in his heart. But instead of gathering the spiritual energy to attempt again, he took a deep breath and allowed the spiritual energy in his body to accumulate freely. In a short moment, the gathered spiritual energy was stronger than earlier. It surged, under the control of Xiao Chen's consciousness, and seemed to have turned into a flood dragon, snarling at the danchen as it smashed against it. Boom! There was a loud boom that came from Xiao Chen's body. The barrier in the danchen that had obstructed Xiao Chen's progress for eight years was actually broken. He ignored the pain and sent his consciousness down, wanting to see what was causing the problem within his danchen. A pair of eyes suddenly appeared and watched him. 
the eyes were like burning torches, showing a certain might. Xiao Chen felt like a big mountain was pressing down on him. In this place, he was like an ant, and the desire to worship this entity seemed to influence him. However, before he could be awed, an intense pain caused him to faint. When Xiao Chen fainted, the purple thunder divine incantation did not stop circulating, which meant the surrounding spiritual energy still continuously poured into his body. Unlike before, this spiritual energy did not get absorbed into his flesh and bones. It was all gathered in his danchen. The danchen, which was originally a formless mass, seemed to have dispersed, and inside it was a small young azure dragon. The eyes of the azure dragon were closed, and its five claws were slightly parted. It was greedily sucking in the spiritual energy that was pouring in, its two whiskers gently swaying. It seemed extremely comfortable, and its whole body rapidly swam around in circles, continuously sucking in spiritual energy. The soft skin of the azure dragon slowly hardened, and only its shape did not change. The surrounding spiritual energy slowly started to grow thin. Even places with denser spiritual energy would not be able to keep up with the rate the azure dragon was consuming it. Slowly, the surrounding spiritual energy was completely sucked dry, and the recovery of the spiritual energy of heaven and earth would require a long time. The azure dragon did not seem satisfied and continued to demand more. However, there was no more spiritual energy left in Xiao Chen's body. When it saw Xiao Chen's strong flesh, his body started to shrivel up this azure dragon actually wanted to extract the spiritual energy within his flesh. The azure dragon continued to absorb for another hour before stopping, its azure skin turning even more solid and strong. It opened its eyes, extended its five claws, swam around in lively fashion, and raised its head while releasing a ferocious roar as if it was trapped for countless years and had finally seen daylight again? This ferocious roar came out of Xiao Chen's body, skyrocketing and piercing through the sky. The spirit beasts of the outer region of the Seven Horn Mountain all prostrate in fear. This sound seemed to contain a mighty pressure, as though it was made to cause them to feel fear. At the same time, the sect masters of the passionate Phoenix Palace, White Emperor City, and the divine martial gate of the Tianyu continent all stopped what they were doing and looked into the distance, mumbling the same words the azure dragon has awakened. At this moment, Xiao Chen finally woke up. The first thing he noticed was the changes to his body, which had shriveled up. However, he could not be bothered about this. He remembered that there had been a pair of mysterious eyes within his danchen, which made him feel terrified. He quickly sat up into the lotus position and sent his consciousness into his danchen. But he no longer saw the eyes, only a small azure dragon. There were a few white clouds floating in its surrounding, and its eyes were closed, silently waiting. What was going on, he had clearly seen a pair of eyes that contained a strong vigor and might, such that he would never forget it. Could it be this was the work of that little azure dragon? Chapter 7, Accidental Discovery, Shadowing Xiao Chen controlled his consciousness to approach the Azure Dragon, his consciousness was almost stuck to the face of the Azure Dragon, making it seem incomparably clear. At this moment, that Azure Dragon suddenly opened its eyes, startling Xiao Chen. The Azure Dragon did not seem to notice him and soon it closed both its eyes. Xiao Chen hurriedly withdrew his consciousness, the gaze of the Azure Dragon was clear, its pupils like a clear spring. Its gaze seemed to be able to draw out the souls of people and cause them to serve it. However, what was this azure dragon? He did not remember a dragon entering his body. Could it be a martial spirit? Had he succeeded in condensing his martial spirit? Azure dragon, azure dragon martial spirit, Xiao Chen suddenly recollected a very distant memory of this body. Long ago, the Tianyu continent had four great sects. The sect master of these four great sects had the bloodline of holy beasts. The disciples of their clan were born naturally with the holy beast martial spirit. Their cultivation speeds were much faster than usual. Furthermore, the holy beast martial spirit had a spiritual nature, they were incomparable to regular martial spirits. The azure dragon of the east, the white tiger of the west, the vermilion bird of the south, and the black tortoise of the north. Each of the four great clans represented a cardinal direction. The Xiao clan's bloodline was that of the Azure Dragon of the East. However, 
thousands of years ago, because of an unknown reason, the Azure Dragon Holy Beast Martial Spirit stopped appearing in the Xiao Clan and their rich, powerful, and distinguished clan was reduced into a local clan of a small town. Xiao Chen shook his head, he couldn't be bothered to think about these stuff. He was only concerned with the fact that he had condensed his martial spirit and could now condense essence to practice martial techniques. He might not lose to Xiao Jian seven days later. He once again sank his consciousness into his body, checking the status of the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation. Earlier, the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation was frantically circulating, like a sword tip pointing at his back. He didn't want to enter a situation where there was a possibility that he would explode again. What caused him to be pleasantly surprised was that the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation was circulating stably and that his cultivation realm had taken a big step forward. He had firmly consolidated the first layer. He temporarily ignored the Azure Dragon Martial Spirit and decided to focus on the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation for now. After cultivating the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation for a night, it could cause his strength to increase exponentially. Furthermore, when he punched out with his fist, electricity would be emitted, one could easily imagine how powerful his fists would be. He remembered that in the Compendium of Cultivation, it was written that after cultivating the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation, one could condense Purple Thunder True Fire. Since the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation's realm had stably consolidated at the first layer, Xiao Chen decided to give it a try. Xiao Chen got up and circulated the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation. As he did so, the eyes of the Azure Dragon in his danchen opened and the three white cloud floating around it slowly started to thin out. A pure and condensed essence flowed from its body to Xiao Chen's meridians. Xiao Chen's mind was shocked, he could feel a sudden inflow of clear and cozy essence. He carefully directed this energy to circulate within his body. Following the method in the Compendium of Cultivation, this essence headed towards his right hand and gathered there. The energy then came out from the four major acupoints of Tian Quan, Jugu, Qus, and Neiguan, to gather onto his middle finger. Suddenly there was a sizzling electrical light on his finger, it continuously flickered until all the electricity gathered onto the tip of his finger. A purple flame about the size of a peanut was formed. Xiao Chen looked at the flame that was unceasingly swaying, it seemed that it would be extinguished at any time. He smiled bitterly, not to mention killing people, even in his original world, this flame could only be used to light a cigarette. He waved his hands and extinguished the flame. Xiao Chen was not dispirited. The fact that he could succeed in condensing the flame on his first attempt was a great consolation. Only, he did not notice that when he was extinguishing the flame, a small spark wasn't completely extinguished and fell onto the ground. Once it touched the ground, it caused the surrounding dead branches and fallen leaves within half a meter to burn. The flame then died in a flash. If a pile of ashes was not left behind and if he could not feel the heat on his face, he wouldn't have believed that there was a fire here earlier. He was stupefied and just stood there blankly. After a while, Xiao Chen started to laugh wildly in joy. This flame was too strong, just a small spark had such a strong might. After training for a period of time, it should have a very strong destructive power. Xiao Chen did not detest practicing the summoning of the Purple Thunder True Fire. After a few hours of practice, with just a thought, the Purple Thunder True Fire would be summoned in an instant. Puchi. A shadow on a big tree flashed by above Xiao Chen's head and schemed into the distance. Stopping what he was doing, Xiao Chen raised his head to take a look. That person was dressed in blue and he flew from tree to tree. In a blink of an eye, he left Xiao Chen's field of vision. This was not true flight, he was only using the momentum of hopping from tree to tree and an excellent movement technique to create the false impression that he was flying. Even so, the cultivation of that person was at least at the martial saint realm. Since when did Mohi City have a martial saint in blue robes? What purpose did he have in coming to the Seven Horn Mountain of the Xiao Clan? Xiao Chen felt somewhat suspicious. Taking note of the direction that the person headed to, Xiao Chen hesitated for a while before he decided to chase him to take a look. An expert at the realm of Martial Saint wouldn't come to this Seven Horn Mountain for no reason. He completely withdrew his energies and relied on the strength of his body to follow the direction that the person in blue went. 
Xiao Chen dashed frantically, even without using the essence in his body, his body's strength was so great that his speed was shocking. The person in blue had a very fast speed, he had already disappeared without a trace. Xiao Chen could only move forward in a rough direction. If his luck was bad, then he would never find him. After about an hour, Xiao Chen heard people chatting in low voices, Xiao Chen quickly stopped and carefully listened. After determining the direction of the voices, he proceeded forward once again. The voices were getting clearer and clearer, Xiao Chen jumped onto a big tree and finally saw the person speaking. In an area, about 300 meters in front of him, the person in blue from earlier and a group of people were speaking in hushed voices. Strange, why was it people from the Zhang clan? There was a group of people speaking to the person in blue, and they wore clothing that was embroidered with a certain pattern, the symbol of the Zhang clan. They were the strongest local power after the Xiao clan, there were three white clouds embroidered on the chest area of their brown coats. Haki Suddenly there was the sound of panting behind him, Xiao Chen was startled and immediately circulated the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation. He gathered the purple thunder true fire in his right hands, ready to take action. Chapter 8, Cave of the Predecessor Cousin Xiao Chen, don't move, it's me, Xiao Yulan stood at Xiao Chen's side as she said in a soft voice. After getting a clear picture of who it was, Xiao Chen released his breath and dissipated the flames on his finger. Cousin Yulan discovered them too, he leaned on the tree and asked. She nodded her head, looking at the group of people in front, frowning, Cousin, do you know who they are? I am not very sure, but I know that those in brown attire are people of the Zhang clan. Xiao Yulan withdrew her gaze and proceeded to scan Xiao Chen's body. She found it strange and decided to inquire. Cousin Xiao Chen, are you alright? You seem to be hurt. Within just a day, Xiao Chen's figure had shriveled up, appearing incredibly weak. However, he had no overt wounds on his body, which was very strange. Xiao Chen smiled bitterly. It's a long story. In the forest in front, where the person in blue was located. Elder Zhang, where is the cave of the predecessor you mentioned? Where have we been walking for all this time? I am running out of patience. The voice of the person in blue carried a trace of anger as he spoke impatiently. The person who was addressed as Elder Zhang appeared to be more than 50 years old, and his cultivation had already reached the peak of Martial Grand Master long ago. He was the clan head of the Zhang clan. At this moment, when he faced the person in blue, he did not dare to slight him at all, instead replying respectfully. Senior, don't worry. That cave was accidentally discovered by one of my clan members, we should arrive there in another 15 minutes. The person in blue just coldly snorted. Then lead the way. The cave of a predecessor it was likely that strong martial techniques and cultivation methods were stored there. There were often such legends, of some coincidental discovery of a predecessor's cave that eventually lead to great cultivation gains for the individual who lucked out. The Seven Horn Mountain actually also had one of these caves of some predecessor. So, Cousin has already condensed his martial spirit. Congratulations. Xiao Chen kept quiet about the Azure Dragon martial spirit, only explaining that he was in this state due to condensing his martial spirit. It seemed that Xiao Yulan also knew of his reputation as trash, thus she did not question him further. Should we follow them? Seeing that the group of people had already gone far away, Xiao Chen sought Xiao Yulan's opinion. We follow. Xiao Yulan leaped down from the tree and gently landed on her feet. Afterwards, her figure flew forward by ten some odd meters, as though she was a green fairy. Within a few breaths of time, she was already more than a hundred meters away. What a fast speed, Xiao Chen quietly murmured. He leaped down from the tree and used all of his strength to keep up. Xiao Yulan evidently did not wish for Xiao Chen to participate in this and dashed ahead at great speed with every intent to leave him behind. However, Xiao Yulan was afraid of drawing the attention of the person in blue, thus she did not use her essence. Although she moved fast, it was only due to the strength of her body. With that alone, it would be difficult to leave behind Xiao Chen. Ten minutes later, Xiao Yulan was flabbergasted at the sounds of Xiao Chen rushing over. 
Although she did not use any essence, her cultivation was already in the realm of a medial-grade martial master. The strength of her body should be vastly stronger than that of a person who had just condensed his martial spirit, which meant that leaving Xiao Chen behind in the dust should be a very easy thing to accomplish. Xiao Chen met Xiao Yulan's gaze and craftily spoke. Cousin's speed is really fast, I nearly could not catch up with you. Xiao Yulan understood what he meant by these words, replying with a solemn expression, the cultivation of that person in blue has reached the realm of martial saint. It is best for cousin to not enter these troubled waters. In front of a martial saint, there is no difference between a martial disciple and martial master. They would both die in one blow, Xiao Chen stated without backing down. Xiao Yulan's expression changed slightly, a slight amount of anger to her tone. I frequently cultivate on Seven Horn Mountain, so I am familiar with every tree and every blade of grass here. Even if I am no match for him, it would not be difficult for me to escape, cousin, but you. Hush. They are about to go in, cousin, take a look. Xiao Chen interrupted Xiao Yulan's words and pointed in a direction. Xiao Yulan turned her head to take a look. There was a cliff in front. That person in blue just laughed coldly and threw out a fist on its stone wall. Cracks extended out from where that person punched the wall, spreading in all directions, and the cracks kept getting larger and larger with pieces of rocks continuously falling off the cliff. When all the rocks finished falling, it revealed a hidden stone door. With a loud rumble, the door opened automatically. Elder Zhang flattered the person in blue and left behind someone to guard the entrance before entering with the person in blue. Let's go. When Xiao Chen finished saying that, he did not bother himself with Xiao Yulan and led the way forward. The Zhang clan disciple stationed outside was only a medial grade martial disciple. Xiao Chen hid himself in a place about a hundred meters from the stone door, confirming that the person in blue had moved far away. Xiao Chen used his consciousness to control the essence to move towards the meridians in his legs, to which the azure dragon within his body opened its eyes once again. Only this time, the expression in its eyes were not clear and pure like earlier, but it was now filled with a baleful look. It was as though it felt Xiao Chen's intentions. The three white clouds floated around gently, and two streams of even purer essence spat out from its mouth, heading toward the meridians in Xiao Chen's legs. After the two streams of essences trickled into Xiao Chen's legs, he could feel strength brimming within them, as though they were able to flatten the solid Seven Horn Mountain with one stomp. Kill! There was a loud shout, and Xiao Chen's right foot ferociously pushed off from the ground leaving behind a two feet deep footprint. His body left the ground and covered the distance of a hundred meters in an instant, the purple thunder true fire burning in his palm. The Zhang clan disciple guarding the entrance only heard a loud shout before a purple flame had already hit his chest. Before he had the time to shout, his whole chest was already burned up. A black hole occupied the middle of his chest, only for its size to rapidly expand shortly after. Within moments, this martial disciple had been turned into a pile of ashes. What a domineering flame looking at the Zhang clan disciple, Xiao Yulan sighed. This is your martial spirit. Xiao Chen did not deny it and smiled, Cousin, do you now believe that I have the ability to protect myself? Xiao Yulan bent over and dipped her fingers in the ashes. After she examined it, she shook her head and proceeded to explain. This flame is indeed domineering but it is not as powerful as you think. If this martial disciple was not suddenly ambushed and could not defend himself in time, as long as he released his essence, he would be able to defend against these flames. Xiao Chen, who was seen through, awkwardly smiled and avoided the topic, they should have already made it far away. If we follow them from a distance, given the large size of this cave, we might not even run into them. Chapter 9, Thunder Emperor Sang Mu, Treasure Trove Xiao Yulan felt somewhat helpless. Xiao Chen seemed to have made up his mind to follow her inside. She felt slightly suspicious in her heart, considering this version of Xiao Chen seemed different from the rumors. After going past the stone door, there was a long paved tunnel, and along the tunnel, between every few meters, one could find an inlaid night pearl lining the walls. Due to the luminance of the night pearl, the tunnel was not steeped in complete darkness. 
The both of them proceeded forward, walking silently in the quiet tunnel, the atmosphere a little sinister. Xiao Chen wanted to find something to talk about to lighten the mood, but he was not able to initiate conversation when he saw the indifferent expression on Xiao Yulan's face. Right when Xiao Chen could bear it no longer and wanted to say something, the road in front of them ended, a thick stone wall blocking their path. However, there was a fork in the tunnel, with two roads to each their side. Xiao Chen took a look at both sides, observing that the tunnels did not have any night pearls to illuminate the darkness. He could not clearly see the situation further in, so Xiao Chen inquired, Cousin Yulan, which way should we go? Xiao Yulan took a look at both sides and spoke. There are obvious signs of footprints on the left side, that should be the direction the person in blue went, we take the right side. Xiao Yulan took out a flare and lead the way, this place could be the cave of a predecessor, so try not to wander around on your own. There usually are some kind of restrictions in this kind of place. Note, this flare is not actually the flare we know. It is actually some kind of ancient Chinese lighter made out of some kind of paper and embers kept in a tube. Cave of a predecessor When Xiao Chen heard that, his interest was immediately piqued. Indeed, that person in blue would not come to Seven Horn Mountain for no reason. He had followed them to the right place. Since it was the cave of a predecessor, then there would definitely be treasures. Xiao Yulan saw Xiao Chen's expression and knew that he did not take her words to heart laughing coldly. Don't be so naive. Since this place can attract a martial saint cultivator, then the predecessor must have been at least a martial king. Any one of the restrictions here could easily kill you. Xiao Chen smiled. I still have cousin here. As long as I follow you, I'll be fine. Xiao Yulan wore a cold expression and did not say anything. After they traveled for a certain distance, it brightened up, revealing a stone room in front of them. Xiao Yulan put out the flare and carefully sized it up. The area of the stone room was not spacious, in the middle was a stone table and a stone stool, and it was surrounded by smooth walls. Above the room was a large number of night pearls that formed the strange image of a bird. Xiao Yulan focused her attention on the stone table, spotting an unopened red embroidered box on it. The strange image of the bird was painted onto the box as well. Xiao Yulan found this image to be very familiar, but she could not recall what it was. Thunder Rock? After thinking for a long time, Xiao Yulan finally remembered the name of this bird, the Thunder Rock. This Thunder Rock was the martial spirit of the martial emperor Sang Mu, who was known as the Thunder Emperor a thousand years ago. Legends have it that Sang Mu was born into an ordinary family, meaning his parents were not cultivators. But he was born with the Thunder Rock martial spirit innately inside him, and he even went so far as to reach the peak of martial saint before he turned 20. The battle that led him to become famous was the God Sealing Battle that was organized by the Ten Powers Alliance of the Tianyu continent. At the age of 20, without the backing of any sects or clans, he defeated countless geniuses of the various sects single-handedly. This was when the name of Thunder Emperor began to spread. In the few years that followed, he was like a bright comet. He battled martial kings, destroyed martial monarchs, and killed martial emperors. His name could be heard everywhere in the great continent, and many people claimed that he was the youngest martial god in the history of the Tianyu continent. It was only later that he slowly faded away from view. Hearing Xiao Yulan describe the history of the owner of this cave, Xiao Chen started to get excited. No one knows if he finally managed to successfully break through to become a martial god, the answers to this question might be within this box. Xiao Yulan saw that Xiao Chen was about to go and open the embroidered box, hurriedly speaking, don't make any careless moves, the box is a little strange. Within the stone room. The person in blue saw the embroidered box on the table and the picture on the ceiling and also guessed the identity of the owner of this cave. Smiling, he said. So, it is the cave of Thunder Emperor Sang Mu. Before Sang Mu went missing, he already had the cultivation of a martial emperor. Looks like this trip was not wasted. Elder Zhang also laughed as well. Since it is so, then with regards to the matter that Senior had promised, don't forget to fulfill it when the time comes. The mood of the person in blue was extremely good. He boldly laughed and gave his word. 
just a small Xiao clan of Mohi city. My Lang clan does not think much of them. If I can obtain an earth rank technique or spirit weapon, I would give you an additional surprise. Elder Zhang laughed. The Xiao clan is naturally not the Lang clan's match. In that case, senior, how shall we open this embroidered box? The person in blue snorted coldly. Given the strength of Martial Emperor Sang Mu, he definitely would have left behind some restrictions on this embroidered box. Even with his Martial Saint cultivation, if he rashly opened it, he would also get hit by the backlash from the restrictions. Taking a look at the group of Zhang clan cultivators, the person in blue laughed strangely. Elder Zhang, get the group of cultivators behind you to open this embroidered box. With me behind, I guarantee that nothing will happen to them. Elder Zhang's complexion changed. However, he quickly recovered, since Senior has asked, then there naturally is no problems. You? Quickly open this box. The Zhang clan cultivator who was pointed out quickly displayed an expression of horror, stammering, great. Elder, I, I, I. Elder Zhang's expression changed, anger clear in his voice. Are you not going to follow my instructions? Have you forgotten the clan rules? When the Zhang clan cultivator heard the words clan rules, his expression turned unsightly. He walked up front hesitatingly, closing his eyes and stretching his hands out to touch the box. Chi. When the Zhang clan cultivator touched the box, the thunder rock on the box seemed to come to life and flapped its wings, shooting out a bolt of lightning from the box. Before the Zhang clan cultivator could activate his essence to protect himself, he was zapped until charred. The person in blue completely disregarded the Zhang clan disciple and just quickly stretched out his right hand to grab the embroidered box. A stream of solid rocks extended from his shoulder to his palms, very soon covering his entire arm in rocks. He gently opened the box without suffering any damage, finding within the embroidered box a black book, a martial technique manual to be specific. The person in blue impatiently took it out and flipped through it but quickly lost interest after taking a couple of looks at it. This was just a superior grade yellow ranked martial technique, it was not worth much even in the great Qin nation. Finding it insignificant to his use, he simply threw it over to Elder Zhang while explaining. Elder Zhang, this is a superior grade yellow ranked martial technique. I don't need this, so you can have it. Chapter 10, Great Treasure, Moonstone Elder Zhang was checking on the person who had been electrocuted. If he had yet to stop breathing, there was a chance to save him. The only consolation he felt was when he heard the person in blue say that he was going to give him a superior grade yellow ranked martial technique. He got very excited. Even in the entire Zhang clan, only two or three copies of a superior grade yellow ranked martial technique was in their possession. It would be worth it even if that Zhang clan disciple died. Elder Zhang received it and smiled. Many thanks to Senior. Should we turn back and take another path? The person in blue shook his head. There is no need, the road on the right will probably lead to the same destination, the exit is definitely within this stone room. When the person in blue ended his statement, he carefully inspected the entire stone room, sweeping his eyes across the four walls before finally resting his gaze on the wall in front of the table. A hunch told him that the exit should be located in front of them, but he was simply not familiar with these strange mechanisms. If he wanted to find a switch by chance, it would be very difficult. Since he could not do it that way, then he would do it the hard way. The person in blue began to speak in a deep voice, move aside, I am going to pierce through this stone wall. When a martial saint expert took action, it was difficult to avoid any casualties. When the surrounding people heard what he said, they hurriedly hid behind him. Shortly after, the rocks appeared on the right arm of the person in blue again. The rocks were moving around strangely on the arm of the person in blue, in fact slowly embedding into his skin, leaving behind a small grey line that seemed to move towards his palm like a poisonous snake. When that line arrived at the palm, it formed a spiral and continuously rotated. A terrifying energy seemed to blast out from his palms, after which he immediately jumped up and quickly struck out, his palm hitting the stone wall in front. Rumble The entire stone room shook continuously. There were plenty of stone fragments continuously falling down as well. 
With a bang, the stone wall in front was blasted apart, revealing a hole large enough for two men to enter. The person in blue withdrew his hand. Looking at the hole in front, he indifferently said, let's go. Although the person in blue said to go, he did not make a move. Elder Zhang couldn't help but call him an old fox in his heart, but, at this moment, he could not afford to offend him. He led the members of the Zhang clan and entered the hole. After going through the hole, the viewing range in front widened, opening up to reveal to their eyes a vast stone platform further ahead. When he raised his head to look at the ceiling, he measured it to be somewhere around a hundred meters high. There was a stone pillar in the middle of the stone platform, the faint radiance glowing off of it attracting all of their gazes. Moonstone What a big piece of moonstone! That glowing stone pillar was actually carved out of a large piece of moonstone. Damn it, what a waste, he actually used moonstone to carve a pillar. Each and every one of them reprimanded exactly this in their hearts. In the Tianmu continent, moonstones were quite rare, and the few locations that had moonstone quarries were already confirmed to have dried up many years ago. With such a large piece of moonstone, they could forge a countless amount of spirit weapons. If they used the entire piece and mixed it with some other rare materials, it would even be possible to make a heaven-ranked spirit weapon. Due to the scarcity of moonstones, the Tianwu continent had not seen any heaven-grade spirit weapon in hundreds of years. Not only the person in blue, but everyone in the Zhang clan would wish to obtain it. When they thought about the value of this pillar made of moonstones, they could not help but swallow their saliva. However, the gaze of the person in blue was not completely focused on the pillar. He noticed an exposed sword hilt at the top of the pillar. That should be the sword hilt of a spirit weapon, a spirit weapon that was inserted into the moonstone. What rank was this spirit weapon? Earth ranked? Definitely not, it was at the very least a superior grade heaven ranked spirit weapon, and it might even be a legendary divine weapon. When the person in blue thought of this, his blood began to boil. However, when he thought of the owner of the cave, the person in blue immediately calmed down. You guys, go in front and check out the situation. After this matter is over, I will reward you guys will 500 tails of gold each. Under the promise of a great reward, the morale of the Zhang clan disciples was raised tremendously. They all condensed a protective barrier and walked towards that stone pillar carefully. When they were about 50 meters away from the stone pillar, a faint yellow barrier suddenly appeared. It blocked their passage as though it was a wall, and even their vision seemed to be blurred. Regardless of how hard they tried, the few martial disciples could not press forward. They used their martial techniques to smash against the thin barrier. In an instant, many martial techniques flew at it. Ka, ka, ka. When the martial techniques struck the thin barrier, they were actually reflected back at the crowd, their speed and might increased by a fold. In an instant, the Zhang clan disciples were all struck by their own techniques, causing them to fall to the ground and cry out in agony. With this sudden unforeseen turn of events, the Zhang clan disciples all immediately became afraid. This yellow barrier was too weird, and the other Zhang clan disciples who had yet to go up did not know what to do. The expression of the person in blue did not change, as though he had expected such a scenario. He slowly walked to the front and placed his hands on the yellow barrier. A wave of essence extended from his palms onto the barrier, his consciousness controlling the essence to move around on it. After a long period of time, he understood what to do. The essence in his body quickly circulated, and even more essence came out of his palm, like tiny snakes swimming about on the thin barrier. When he saw that the barrier was completely covered with his essence, he stopped supplying it and used his consciousness to control the tiny strands of essences to tightly stick to the barrier. Withdraw. The person in blue shouted softly, and the essence that was stuck on the barrier started to flow back. The thin yellow barrier started to shake, after which a tiny hole the size of the eye of a needle appeared on the thin barrier. The person in blue felt joy in his heart and used his left hand to wipe the sweat off his forehead. Elder Zhang, this thin barrier is the restriction left behind by that predecessor. Based on my strength alone, I can only open a hole the size of one person. Remember to get your men to move faster. In the stone room that Xiao Chen was in. 
A horrifying electrical current shot out from the thunder rock on that embroidered box, hitting and catching Xiao Chen off guard. The electricity traveled through his fingertips into his body, the devastating energy frantically filling his meridians without any restraint. The essence in his body attempted to resist the invasion of this lightning, but it immediately dissipated when they came into contact. The horrifying energy traveled up Xiao Chen's arms through his meridians, rapidly heading toward the Danchen. Xiao Chen was startled.